What's up, guys? Welcome to part two. So, mix of cameras today, guys. We're back to the big one. I hope everybody enjoyed part one, guys. Amazing display from the Portuguese Navy Lynx. Retro jets and the air race is my favourite so far. Extra T30, just doing a display now. Type first flown, 1988, one of the world's greatest aerobatic championship aircraft. We've got quite a few of them on display, guys. I'm not 100% sure who's flying this one. Flying sequence is a little bit out of sync. However, we'll still enjoy an awesome display in this beautiful evening light. Sun is just behind us now, guys, catching the aircraft beautifully. I believe, guys, that Luis Garcia is the display pilot here. Could be wrong, however, still an extra 3.30. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, guys. It's a lot easier filming an A320 than it is one of these. But Big P's back on camera. I think he's doing a good job. And my goodness, guys, what a hot day it's been. So <laughs> hopefully what I've filmed so far has been okay, guys. It's been a, um, a mighty hot day. Okay, what's running in here? I think this is Luis Garcia. I've just heard it on the commentary. <laughs> oh, Garçao, guys. <laughs> I've just been corrected. Il so English. I'm allowed. I'm allowed one mistake. Okay. <laughs> so, Luis Garçao, guys. Born in Lisbon. TAP captain, flown many, many types, 737-200, 300, A310-19-2021 and 30 as well, guys, so. I believe this is an extra 330L. So this is one of the aircraft that we filmed last night at Santa Cruz. Got to see her doing a practice display. Which I remember as a British crew, guys, so... Mr. Garza was definitely in one of these two aircrafts, so... Yeah. Either way, nice and close over this bay. Lisbon looking beautiful in the background. But perfect light for this, guys. And just remember, we've got more to come. We have the nighttime display as well.
be an awesome location to watch the air show today guys if you plan on attending next year make sure you apply for spotters area nothing in front of us at all we've been given our own enclosure as well we're very grateful to the organizers here for that Oh, looks like they're joining up, guys. I thought we were having solo displays, I guess, no? But yeah, this is my last air show of 2023, so making the most of these last few hours, guys. It's going to start getting dark early soon, but you'd never think it with this heat and this light that we're having today. It uh, looks like our two extras are signing out. So fantastic display. Never get bored of watching these. And off they go, guys. Back to Santa Cruz. Wonderful. Let's get a good look at the beach. Let me get out of the way, guys. You don't want to see what I look like today after four hours of filming. Who? So anyone that says that winter's arrived, you were all saying it last week, guys. So look at this. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Are they coming back to surprises? It happened with the links earlier on, guys. I was... Ooh, here we go. Yeah, one last pass, I believe. It looks like we're going to get a split. But look at Lisbon in the distance there, guys. Doesn't get much better than this. Signing out. Beautiful. So, guys, we do have some surprises coming later. So, we're going to obviously catch Aero Sparks later, but wait till you see the full video. Today is an overview of the display and all the air show acts. However, we do have some special stuff coming in the next few days. However, I'll talk about Aerospacks as we get closer to the display. Okay, guys, we have an autogyro from MTO Sports. Registration D-MCVB. So we've seen this aircraft in the past, guys, but never flying. So I'm very glad that we're able to bring this today. And this is operated by Aerolaser. God, look how low that is. Wow. <laughs> That's an open cockpit as well, guys. <laughs> so if I ever won the lottery, guys, this is what I would buy first. So 550 kilometer range. Maximum speed of 195 kilometers per hour. Check out their website, guys. I was reading it this morning. I, I really want to fly one of these, but um, I thought there were two seaters. But um, but yeah, great to have something else unique today. You've had road reaction, fixed swing, and now an auto gyro.
And that red scheme is looking very, very nice with the sun behind us now. Swing it back around, we should get a nice close up now. Okay, guys, nice and close. Get a good view of that open cockpit. Do I see two seats there? I am hinting if you watch this video in the future. A nice scout of the bay flying sideways. And a good example of energy management is how much speed they can pick up when they dive. And a wave, he's having a good, a lot of fun there. <laughs> and a big round of applause from Portuguese audience as always, amazing. Yeah, Portuguese are always gonna tell you guys if you're doing a good job. Oh, some big waves coming in. Well, I think we're okay up here. Okay, guys, time for the next display. So a little correction to what I said before, guys. The flying program is a little bit out of sync. This is the one and only Luis Garçao flying an extra 330 LT. Been performing aerobatics since 1995 and is a captain with TAP Air Portugal. This is a nice low display, this one. Amazing. But if you're a captain of this many types, I talked about it before, so most of the Airbus types, from the A310 up to the A330. And it's great, you can do this at the weekend. Nice and close there, amazing. So this engine guys, like home and engine, 315 horsepower. 
And that's a great power weight ratio. So slightly different from the extra 300s that we've already seen today. That's a great start to, to, to this display. We've picked the best time of the evening for this. Great design on this aircraft. turn just off the top there. Stay nice and close to the crowd as well. I really like this display. Another kick of the rudder, rudder over the top there. Yeah, this might, I'm not supposed to have favourites, guys, but this might be my favourite extra display today. So it's aircraft top speed, 220 knots. And as I said before, 315 horsepower like Omin engine.
That's a four-point hesitation roll. Man, straight up, guys. <laughs> so I'm, I'm so fascinated by this display, guys. I'm forgetting to speak, but I'm just... I think the best thing to do with this display, guys, is just to watch it. an outside climb. That's not the most comfortable manoeuvre at all. So I suspect this is his final pass. However, I'm always surprised when it comes to extra displays, they never seem to want to finish. But lots of claps here from Portuguese audience, amazing. Coming very low here, are we going to get a knife edge? Oh, look at this. And just as I suspected, I think he's back for more. <laughs> All right, is he going to appear behind? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice pass for the photographers there in the spot section. Brilliant. Nice top side. Ah, straight over us here. <laughs> I think that looks like an upside down goodbye there, maybe. <laughs> but he doesn't seem to want to stop. Okay, I think that was the last pass, guys. Luis Garçal signing out. Yeah, and a big cheer from the audience, guys. So, fantastic display. Definitely one of my favourites today. Okay, Team Raven, guys. One of my favourite air show teams in the world. 
And a regular visit to Portugal. Never quite caught them at this angle though. But how fantastic does that look in this light? I didn't think we were going to see them this late on. But I'm not complaining. So Team Raven guys, formed in 2014, operating six RV-8 aircraft, which explains the name Raven. So RV is where the name Raven came from. So based in Swansea in Wales, so Page de Gelge, where I come from. So these aircraft guys, 180 horsepower engines. But awesome to see Team Raven back in Portugal. And great to see a six ship display today as well. So just to our right, we got Twister forming here. Amazing. <clears throat> so these are kit planes, guys. You can actually build them yourselves at home. Wingspan 7.32 meters, wing area of 10.8 meters, but a great display aircraft, especially with an engine as powerful as 180 horsepower. Right, so I'm just expecting them to appear from the right now, just behind those trees. So just reforming into a six ship now. So guys, if you want to get to know the team a little bit more, check out teamraven.co.uk. And see what they're about, guys. I know they support a lot of charities. And find out more about the team, guys. So 10 years old next year. This cruise ship is going to have a bit of a surprise now. And a beautiful palm split there. 
So I'm expecting to see now left and right opposi opposition passes. I'm trying to help Big P out a little bit as well. There's a lot going on in the sky at once, so hopefully I can direct him to where he needs to be. But yeah, awesome display this. I never get bored of watching these guys. But yeah, those cruise ships must be having a great view there. <laughs> Uh, cruise ship passengers, rather. So that was the fall ship. Where are the other two? Where am I looking? <laughs> oh, here we go. I hope these cruise ship passengers are filming some of this. I want to see some of this footage later. Oh, what a beautiful sight, guys. We're getting, starting to get Portuguese sunset now. Okay, so two to the left, I'm expecting to see two to the right. Are we going to get a double opposition pass? See, that, that's the thing about a display like this, guys. It's so dynamic and it changes. I never quite know what's next. <laughs> Okay, three ship nice and low to the front. 45 degrees there. Right, straight ahead guys, two to the front. I think you know what this is going to be. And a big cheer from the crowd as well. Awesome. Yeah, this is definitely a popular display team with the crowd here today. Yeah, I followed Team Raven from the very start. And I'm awesome to have them back in Portugal again. Okay, three ship to the right. Yeah, definitely pick the best light for this display today. It's 
So we were lucky to see the preparations last night, guys, for the air show today at Santa Cruz. So we've got some footage of the aircraft on the ground. We'll get that up soon. So I can see one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're all reforming now. Uh, what a great sight there with Lisbon in the background. <laughs> Okay, now this is one of my favourite manoeuvres now. The Red Arrows used to do this. Ah, oh, fantastic. And it's hard to believe there's six people, six different pilots doing six different things there as well. They make it look so smooth so I love watching formation teams Look at that. I'm just looking at the footage, guys. That looks great. I'm expecting a break now, or are they going to climb? So I'm always too scared to say when I think a display's over, guys, because um, I remember last year I kept being surprised. However, I suspect that was the last break, but awesome. Great to see Team Raven. First time seeing them this year. Um, I didn't get to see them when I was back in the UK. But awesome to see an airshow display team again that I've followed since the very start of their formation. Um, I used to have some great nights out with these guys on airshow weekends at Southport, if anyone's ever been to Southport Airshow. So it's nice to see them here in Portugal now that I live here. And I said it last year, guys, you still owe me a beer. I'm still waiting. Okay. Ah, and you can't beat a bit of Top Gun after that, can you? Oh, awesome. And that is Team Raven with the six RV8s signing out, guys. That's the end of second half of today.
Coming next, guys, we have the nighttime display. So stick around for part three. That's going to be pretty spectacular. And def well, definitely one of the highlights of my air show season 2023.